Hi, I'm Gerald Lynch for the Tech Digest. We're at the top of the BC Tower, and we are about to have a go of the London 2012 official game of the Olympics. I think that's the right title. Yeah, we're close. We're close. We're close. London 2012, the official video game of the Olympics. This is introducing Jamie Bailey. This is the producer on the game. So we're having a quick go of beach volleyball here, Jamie. But how many other sports are there in the game? We've got a large amount. We've got over 30 events in the standard Olympics mode. Uh, which you can play through events play, and then we've also got added motion control games for 360 and for PlayStation, and then we're also looking at some of the party play events as well. So we've got a, a broad range, really. Uh, it was kind of hard to find out which ones we could cut. We had so many we had yeah. to chop some down, otherwise we never got it finished. So do you have a favourite? Personally, my favourite is archery. Uh, it's a set of lords, so I think that's fantastic. It's uh, having a real London venue and having a real London sort of feeling about it. Um, it's, it's nice to have that it's a London game, so yeah, it's very cool. And also we've got a great party play twist on that as well, where you can fire as many arrows as possible uh, in a little time frame. So it's more of an arcade game as well. So there's a long heritage with uh, second field games going back to the old Tato arcade games even. Um, you do have a lot to live up to. How did you approach it compared to, say, I don't know, Konami's track and field games? Uh, it's an awful lot to live up to because I'm a massive fan of athletics games in general. So we, we wanted to make sure that what we made was was good enough to compete with those games because they're massive and people love them. Yeah. But also it had to be ours, it had to be new, it had to be current. So we took the idea of the mechanics that they always use, the, the button bashing, which is great. Um, but we wanted to refine that a bit because people are a bit more used to the idea of gameplay mechanics, they're a bit more brought into that. So we decided we'd change that slightly, change it to pacing, but keeping a bit of speed on the button pressing at the same time. And hopefully we can live up to, to continue that tradition. We don't want to make a game that carries on that tradition, we want a game that moves that tradition forward. Uh, so hopefully we've achieved that, I think people are going to love it. It's, it's easy to play, easy to pick up, but then really, really tough to master, which is a, a classic saying sort of trait. So, yeah, we're really hopeful that this goes that way. And you've done some firsts in the game in terms of motion capture, I right hear. We have, yeah. So our, our motion capture has been quite groundbreaking. We've done outdoor motion capture uh, on events which have never been done, so beach volleyball being one. Uh, we've also done trampolining, which was a, a technical feat to see how the guys did it. They set up massive poles and, and had a fantastic athlete in the middle, uh, a competition trampoline athlete, who was then working through and, and performing moves, which, quite frankly, I didn't know you could do. So, yeah, it was impressive. We've also had a first for commentary as well, where we worked with a, a studio up in Sheffield, Pit Stop Productions, who delivered us a, a really novel way of putting commentary into the game, where we had the game with them, and we had a live commentator there. Uh, we had two, in fact, Seth Bennett and Alison Kerbyshen, and both of them worked live on the game, commentating over it day after day after day on every event, and then we, we got real dynamic feeling from that. Whereas often a lot of commentary is just done off a script, and it feels a bit wooden, it doesn't feel detached, so it doesn't feel attached, it feels attached. So that's where we went with it, and hopefully that's going to stand out as well. So one more time, when can we expect to have the game in stores and what consoles can we get it on? Game stores on the 29th of June, that's the release date, and we're on PlayStation 3, 360 and PC. Great, thanks very much, Jamie. Thank you.